So you say you want a cool YouTube channel background like the one I've got on display here. It's pretty spiffy and it has a custom about me rather than relying on the text boxes like these. Most YouTube channel backgrounds look something more like this. It's a uh, repeating image background or some poorly lined up uh, image around the border of this wrapper here. Well, if you don't want that and you want something more like this, if you want to get with something like this, then uh, I'm going to show you how in Photoshop. What you want to do is you're going to sign into your account. Here I'm signing into this one. Uh, bust out the themes and colors module. Show advanced options and delete whatever background image you got on there. You're not going to need it. Next, change your wrapper color to something respectable like uh, something like bright blue, something that's vibrant and you want to stand out. Then change the background color to something that contrasts with that, like uh, black, or uh, probably not black actually, you want to choose some bright color that won't show up in this video here, because we're going to be using some magic wand tool later. But anyway, uh, make sure your wrapper transparency is set to none, transparency for color palette set to none, save the changes. It's just going to be for a little while, so anybody that looks at your channel right now is going to get the wrong idea, but uh, that's fine. Now, what you want to do is you move your cursor off screen, like way up there, right about here is good, and then on your keyboard up by the F12 button is the print screen button. Hit that after you've scrolled all the way up here, then go into Adobe Photoshop and start up a new clipboard uh, that's 1600 by 900 I'm just gonna go ahead and type in 2000 by 2000 that's what I normally start off my uh, YouTube channel backgrounds with is 2000 by 2000 panel just paste that right on there and then you're going to bust out your selection tool uh, hotkey M and just select across the top of your image if you zoom in, you can see where exactly this top border, uh, this top border here, meets your background image. Because anything that's white here is where your background image will start. So line up exactly inside of the wrapper uh, image here. Delete that. Uh, Control D to deselect and do the same thing to the bottom of your image where all this other stuff is you don't need. Right across there. You can see I'm doing this at 3.20 p.m. Uh, up arrow key to nudge that selection up and delete the image there. And this is just to get a template, um, sort of a guide map to where everything is from your image background to where it is on your channel and you'll be seeing the full effect of that here in a minute but uh, because I'm on Vista Windows 7 uh, a little bit of my start menu button pops above my taskbar so I'm just gonna fill that with white because it matches my background image quite like that and then move this up into the far corner there and you see the scroll bar here does not affects your background image. It's placed to the side of it, it's not on top of it, so we need to delete that as well. Just by nudging over and deleting. There we go. And now we've got the beginnings of what our channel will look like to us with our resolution and screen size, which is what we're going to aim for, so it looks good to you. Uh, use the crop tool to crop out the exact width of your channel as it is now and then just drag that button handle on down there so that's far enough there we have the exact width of our channel for the background image and enough height to uh, even the longest channels could probably fit in this height if you have a long especially long channel lots of modules you might want to go a little bit further but that's not a problem for me now what you want to do here is you want to look at the ex absolute last thing that was loaded onto this image here. You can see I have the bottom of my wrapper for my uh, most added videos here. So I want to keep that 
in the screen, like that, you can see this little part of the area is in the last image. So as long as I kept that there, I have something, if I print screen like again, and paste again, I will have something that can sync up that image to the previous image and continue uh, my channel further downwards. Uh, you see I put the layer for this new image below the layer for the old image and just scroll it down until it syncs up with the previous image here. Uh, you'll be able to see in just a few seconds here I've not passed it yet. Okay, there it is right there. So if I set my top layer to about 50% opacity uh, and then zoom in, I can see where it all syncs up and just nudge my other layer until we've got the perfect image right there. And just change the opacity back to 100%. There we go, we've continued the image a little bit further downwards. Lastly, um, we need to scroll the channel down the rest of the way. Because I have a short channel, I can do this in just three images. If you have a long channel, again, you might need to do more than three. Uh, adjust your steps accordingly. But all I have to do is paste my third image on there, delete this top bar here, like that. Doesn't matter if I get a little bit extra cut off because my channel is so short that anything else will just move along with it. So I just need to sync up this channel comment with the previous channel comment, which is Coco Rider. Sounds like a sweet job. It's a pretty good pun there. Um, there we go. Now that that is synced up, I have my full channel and a little bit extra here. Uh, you just want to cut off anything extra you've got. In this case, it happens to be the taskbar because of the order I layered my images. Could be the taskbar. It could be your uh, window. Uh, bar at the top of your screen. Delete that and then if you're on 7 or probably Vista 2 just get rid of this little puppy here. Fill that in with whatever color you chose for your background. I chose white. And then lastly of course crop out this blankness so you have the exact probably gonna zoom in there uh, you have the exact dimension zoom in there a little more the exact to mention, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit left because everything has to be pixel perfect for this to be convincing. There we go. Pixel perfect. You have your template for your channel in uh, Photoshop. So I'm going to merge these layers together. Just highlight them and control E and rename this uh, the template layer. And now, because I chose such bright, uh, vibrant, bright colors for my. Um, window wrappers. I can just go W for the magic wand tool, select everything that is in blue, like this, and I go ahead and delete that. And on a new layer, well, you don't need to delete it I guess, but on a new layer I'm going to fill that in with uh, red. There we go. And again, this is just to get a template. This is not the actual effect. And on the template layer, I'm going to select everything that is not part of that selection outside the bar. And I'm going to hold Control Shift to click the image of that top layer I just put on top of that. That will, in addition to this outside, it will select the inside layer here. So if I fill in these little extra things here, like the icons. I will add that to my selection. And let's see if I missed anything else. No, looks pretty good. And if I right click, select inverse, and then on another new layer, I can fill this in with bright green. And now I have all of my modules layered out in bright green. Looks like I did miss a few things there. Just go ahead and delete that part. So with that we've got our template for where we want to line up images to form a sophisticated special YouTube background. 
So from here, what I would generally do is, and from this point on, it's completely up to you and your design choices, but what I would normally do is uh, create a new layer, uh, filter, render some clouds, uh, control F, control F, that looks pretty good there, and then I would go filter, distort, um, Let's twirl this a uh, good 200 degrees, maybe 300 degrees. Looks pretty good. Uh, then I would Control J to duplicate the layer, Control C to transform the layer, right click, flip horizontal, double click to save the changes, and then apply the. Uh, let's go ahead and try difference. That looks pretty good. Difference uh, blending option. Uh, select the two layers, merge them together. And then I just move that below those two there. And you can see I have a cool little border for the background. And if you look on your template layer, uh, you will see that this is where all of the videos are. So if I wanted to go on a new layer on top of that background layer and write like, uh, uh, best videos, that'll, um, change my font there. Uh, best videos are that away. I could do that. Doesn't look um, half bad on my background. I was expecting it to look worse. But from there you would just choose uh, different options to add on top of this layer here uh, that are based around your template you've got. So, like, down here in the About Me section, I know that this is where my About Me starts right here is where my About Me starts. So, if I go here and create images that are fancy, that give me my descriptions, quite like this here, if I go through and make all of these images for the About Me section, they will show up here and then I would just delete this layer, um, of course not show this layer, so it would have cool images on top of my About Me. And then of course you would have to, from there, go on to your settings for your channel, edit, and just click off everything that you put in image form so that it doesn't show it twice and doesn't cover up your images with all this needless information you could easily put in pictograph form and from this point on it's pretty much just what you want to do with your channel what you want to show that's all fancy and I'll leave that part up to you again this is just a tutorial for the method not for the madness so I'm just gonna go there and put um, maybe uh, brush tool show off on this layer here like uh, pup rules little cholo sign there I don't know there we go so there is my channel file save as and because it's such a huge image uh, you're going you can't be able to save it as a high quality PNG you want to save it as a JPEG uh, just choose channel name I don't know pup up pup channel but I already have one that I've pre-made so I can use that one from this point on what you want to do is cancel cancel this go up to themes and colors choose a background image I mean this is pretty much standard fare for anybody who's chosen a background image anybody can do this part and choose your JPEG if you're saving as a JPEG the maximum quality you're gonna get out of it is 8 but you're better off starting with a 7 um, because you can see here that the display is maximum of 256,000 bytes that is a boldface lie I this channel for RJ Waters 2's channel, this image is actually about 900 um, kilobytes. So it's about four times as much. So if it's under a meg, generally it will accept it. It doesn't appear to have accepted it here. Uh, let me try it again. Uh, 
Uh, YouTube, as you know, can be a little bit finicky about uploading things. If not, we can always go in and actually give you a demonstration of saving your background image. Save as a JPEG. Just go channels. Yeah, see how I say 8 quality JPEG is only 14.9k. I could probably bump that up to 9, 10, because I have so many uh, fancy doohickeys, and you probably will too if you're following this tutorial on your channel, then it's going to increase this size much less as the quality goes down. So, I might actually be able to get 12 out of this. No? 12? No. 11? Probably can get 11. Let's see if it'll accept 11. Delete that. That I don't know why it's not accepting that. And here's the image I just saved. Crush fingers. Uh, let's try saving the changes and refreshing the page. That seems to have done absolutely nothing. Maybe it hasn't accepted the image. So to remedy that, I will try a lower quality image. Just overwrite this old one, because I'm not going to need it. And I'll just try 8, because that's pretty good uh, quality anyway. And that seems to have been the problem, I was trying to upload too high of a quality of a video. But as you can see, we do have a problem, because all of my, in addition to having my text still here, um, my wrappers cover up anything that would have been cool and uh, customized underneath this. So what you can do about that is, just go up to wrapper transparency, jack those back to 100% save the changes and you have a cool custom background on top of just the bare minimums here of course get rid of everything you can from here if you're going to customize that in your image and eventually with enough time and effort you'll end up with something as fancy as this I hope this has been at least informative if not enlightening and maybe even shaw Propping? But I'm interested to see what you guys can make out of this channel uh, video tutorial and see how greatly this improves your channels. So, uh, good luck with that.